Hey everybody, so the Arma 2 1.64 patch just dropped. When you open up your client, you will see that the version has changed down here. And when you try to start your server, it won't show up in here. So you got to fix some shit up here, patch it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I've already done this, but I'm doing it for uh, people that are having trouble with it. This is the uh, dedicated server. You can download it from here if you want. I just copy over manually. This is the uh, change log. It just got updated about an hour ago, you can see. But when you go into your Steam library, you should see an update here and an update on Arma 2. I actually had an update button here. I pushed it and it got 280 megabytes around there. So make sure you do the updates first and then run the game right run it and then uh, to the login screen anyway and then go into your client files this is for dedicated servers or servers run from your PC or from your LAN uh, server hosts will have to update their files you have to contact them if they haven't done it already and have them update anyways go into where you have your your uh, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead and, um, Arma 2 installed, go to Steam Apps, Common, Arma 2. The only thing it updated in here, you can see, if you go to View, go to Details, and it will bring up the, the dates modified. So today is November 7th. You see that the add-ons have updated. Um, if you click here, right, you get, uh, these are the files that were updated. So go into your Servers folder and when I did the install on the video install I did for this the only thing you copy over from Arma 2 is the add-ons right and they end up here so you need to copy just these files so click here and do a shift click here and then copy those over and then do it it'll say you want to replace you know replace and then you should see those files have updated right that's all you have to do for Arma 2 go into Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead and go ahead and click on this modified thingy this is just uh, their uh, what is a script that runs to install the update that's all that is don't worry about that um, some of these files are client, some of them are server. If you download it from, you know, from that link here, you'll just get the server side stuff. But when I do installs, I just install from uh, Operation Arrowhead Client because it includes all the server files and everything. So just every one of these you see that says 11.7, you got a DLL here, copy that over. This is the uh, client side exe that's not in here if you do have it you can delete it uh, Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead Battle Eye Server I don't know if you have to have that I think you do copy that over it's been updated this is the server update that for sure the Steam DLLs I think are client side I'm not sure but uh, again just copy all four of them over into here patch them look at look at the dates and then go into your folders. You see these are all updated. One, two, three, four. Uh, this one was, well, these are old. Uh, those aren't even, those are just uh, mods. Um, so the common folder you see here, I'm pretty sure that's the same thing actually as the add-ons from Arma 2. You can see A10. A10. I'm pretty sure it's the same shit, but... Uh, yeah, you copy that over, replace it. DLC setup you don't need, that's for client. DLLs, I don't know if these are client or server. Pretty sure they're client, but copy them over anyway. Right, update them so they look like that. This is the one back when they released the partial patch. This was quite a while ago. The devs didn't direct to this battle eye folder they directed to the one in the expansion folder here 
right? So make sure you copy this guy here at the root over to the root here. Make sure that's in here because I think it's looking at this folder now and not this one. So just make sure you do that. Um, the other thing... What was the other one? There was an expansion. The expansion folder got updated here. I don't know why it didn't show it here. That's odd. Should say updated here, but it's not. Go into the expansion folder. The add-ons have updated. I'm pr some of this stuff might be the same as ARM2. Uh, it's just, you know, redundant. Those have not updated. Uh, the keys have not updated. It's just the battle eye stuff and a little bit of the add ons. But update that. I think the ACR stuff, no, did it? None of the ACR stuff updated there. It was all that other stuff. Um, I think, the fa in fact, some of the ACR stuff is in here. Uh, is it in here? I don't know. I think some of the ACR stuff was in here. I can't remember. But just patch that shit over. Make sure you patch over this battle eye folder that was the one that I was missing in fact let me delete that and I'll show you what happens um, the other thing you have to do go into your server config folder uh, by default it would be on the root of C open up your config file which is this one the dot CFG let's get rid of the RPT and Make sure you update this required build. Okay, that's the new version. 144629. It used to say 113 something or other. But this is the new version, right? You can get that from here. 144629. Make sure you put that in there. Save that. It's good. Um... Yeah, so let me fire up the server. And I'll show you that the battle eye won't connect. Did I close that? I did. See here where it says battle eye initializ initialization failed? That's because you need this folder to be moved over. Um, you didn't require that before because, again, it was looking in the expansion folder at this one, but they've changed that. So make sure you copy over this to here and then restart your server. And you can see the battle eye is now updated. Okay, go into your game, multiplayer, and there's our server. Join that puppy. So look at the above the progress bar. I got those two narrow ghosted lines. It's supposed to have a progress... Um, text there where it would say loading this and that but the beta was doing this and I guess it'll have to be reworked so that the text shows up not a big deal it still loads it's just they must have changed something okay logged in and everything seems to be working I'm not getting any bad light kicks or anything um, 
just have to keep testing it. I checked the uh, server RPTs and client RPTs when I did the install. It looked all right. Yeah. So everything looks kosher here. There's no errors. Right, the, the client didn't have any errors either, so uh, I think we're good to go. Okay, so that should help you. If you'd, I, I'm not sure what else there is. This is a brand new patch, so we'll just have to keep uh, people are reporting this and that. We'll just have to keep looking at it, but uh, that's what I had to do to mine, and I'm, I'm in. So hope that helps you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.